Hello, good morning. We are now in our 19th episode, 19th day in our sharing conversation. Today, I will be sharing to you or talking to you about the great uh, the great commandment and the great commission. Ano bang ibig sabihin itong dalawa? Kasi most of the time na uh, mis, 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 misinterpreted if not Um, misuse of the language great commandment and great commission so dapat i-distinguish natin siya itong ating uh, conversation today over a cup of coffee okay let's start so the great commandment and the great commission Puro kasi great eh. Okay, tingnan natin. So, what are the commandments or ten commandments? Dituhin na natin. The ten commandments are the laws given to Moses and the people of Israel to help unify the diverse tribes of the Hebrew people into one nation under a single God. Ito yung time during the Old Testament experience during the in the book of Exodus na medyo dumadami yung mga Israelites scattered people and then nagkakaroon sila ng sabihin natin need need for guidance and leadership Uh, hindi pa kasi this time in emphasize si Moses yung leadership niya at kung sino yung mag-assist sa kanya Joshua ata yun o oh, anyway wala pa so yun yung yung background doon so God invited Moses to go to Mount Sinai and there Sinai ba? and there he presented, cut the last story short, the Ten Commandments. So we learn two things with the Ten Commandments. Our duty to God and our duty to our fellow men, to our neighbors. So here are the Ten Commandments in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verses 1 to 17. So Ten Commandments, one is about love of God. Thou shalt, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. So, medyo siloso si God. Gusto niya siya lang talaga. Number three, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Panamang uso ngayon. Ayun, tawag mo ito. Anyway, tuloy natin. Number four, remembering the Sabbath day to keep it holy, the day of the Lord. And then number five, honor the father and the mother. Maganda i-remind yan sa mga kabataan ngayon. Uh, to honor the parents actually is part of the Ten Commandments. Originally directed coming from God himself. Then six, thou shalt not kill. Mm-hmm. Nga, tokhang lang. <laughs> thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not. Number seven, thou shalt not commit adultery. Eight, thou shalt not steal. Sabi na ng iba, huwag ka lang hanggang magpahuli. Okay lang yun. <laughs> Lalo na kapanahon na sa COVID. So, di may COVID pandemic as a justification of to steal. Okay lang. Basta huwag lang ma mahuli. <laughs> okay, saan ba tayo? Number nine, thou shall not bear false witness. Oh my goodness, hapon halos lahat nangyayari ngayon, no? Thou shall not 
bear false witness. Number 10, thou shalt not go with thy neighbor's house or wife or possessions. So those are 10 commandments commanded by God written in a tablet entrusted to Moses. Okay. So, the great commandments. So when we say commandment, So, when Jesus' authority was questioned by the Jewish authority, ito pala yon, he was challenged to identify which of the Ten Commandments is the most important. Mm -mm. Tama. Instead of choosing one among the Ten, Jesus summarized the Ten Commandments into one single sentence or into one single concept, into one single word. And the word is L-O-B-E. Love. So the Ten Commandments is being summarized by Jesus in the New Covenant, in the New Testament time, you know, in the new relationship with Christ. He summarized the Ten Commandments then into one. And that one commandment is what we call as the greatest commandment. And that commandment is love. Love God by loving your neighbor. That's the greatest commandment. This is what we call as the great commandment. Some other people use the term the great commandment of love, more or less. Binabalitan lang yung mga sentences. But there's only one greatest commandment, and that's the commandment of love. Okay? We go to the next. <clears throat> In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40, Jesus said, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. On these two commandments hung all the law and the prophets. That's from Matthew chapter 22. Okay? What does it mean? This means to us as to love God with all our hearts. This is our call to worship. By being part of the church community, we express our love for God by loving our neighbors. Loving our neighbors, we might always think of our neighbors, those who are around us, living with us, known to us but referring to all human community, those whom we know and even those who are different from us. Still, they are our neighbor. Oh, these are the people uh, defined by Jesus as, as our neighbor. Jesus wants us to treat them all with, underline it, love. We always think of what is good for them because we love them. So the basic motive there is not just because Jesus wants us to express ourselves, but he commanded us to relate to others by loving. So the greatest commandment, love one another. Yung totoong love one another, ha? hindi yung love another one. Okay, so that's the greatest commandment, right? So the great commandment given by Jesus is really a manifestation of God's love to his people. We love one another as God loves us. This is complete, this is to complete his commandments and his teaching to us. Therefore, this great commandment is simply the core of our Christian beliefs and found in our worship and our love with one another. Take note, huwag niyong kalimutan, di ba? Yung image of God, we define God as God as a God of love. So, this is the image of God and He wants us to manifest this image of God as love by loving our neighbors. The resurrected Jesus also gave us the great commission. Commission. 
as a way to carry his mission on earth. It was his last instruction to his disciples, actually, before he ascended back to the Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 17. There it shows there. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee for a while. went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, underline, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them, to, uh, to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. Napakaganda. Saan ba galing yan? Ayun ang tinatawag natin the Great Commission wherein we are reminded of the instruction of Jesus to his disciples to go as the basic mission of his disciples, given by Jesus himself, go, go, and baptize everyone. Go all through the nations and baptize everyone in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Ang ganda dahil hindi yan sinasabing in my name, go, no. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay? In this passage of Matthew, Jesus commissioned his disciples into three distinct actions. Important ito. Number one, he said, go. Go. Hindi niya sinasabi yung go. Kung sino go dyan, kundi definitely he was talking to some people, to some bodies. That he directly said them, instructing them to go. So that is to take an action role in the mission. So, after that, he said to them, to all the nations. To all the nations. Hindi niya pinipili. Hindi ito lang sa atin, Pilipinas lang. O sa mountain province lang. O sa Mindanao lang. No. Sinasabi niya, all through all through all through all the nations plural yon nations yon so ibig sabihin nations throughout the nations it represents totality universality that's why the term catholic universality he was not just speaking of one particular church or one particular place wherein you establish your church he was telling them to go through all the nations all over the world and preach and preach the good news of salvation baptized everyone in my name or in the name in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit ito yan Trinitarian form yung form na ginagamit natin ng ating baptize okay so, being a disciple of Jesus is a never-ending process that calls us into the community, leading the way to nurturing our spiritual transformation in the life of the disciples. We call our community as the body of Christ, where each member is unique as an essential part of the whole body of Christ. Within the church, we find strength support inspiration to continue our spiritual journey by combining our strength for others in Christ's family. We also strengthen the body of Christ. It is also important to remember that we have different spaces and places into their path together towards spiritual maturity and their commitment to our spiritual journey. These are though, there are those who are, who have little commitment to our church, to our faith community. There are those who may not have 
you may have some bad experiences in their churches. There are those who come only to church when there are major occasions like Christmas, Easter, baptism of their children. Others don't really go to church. Yan ang challenge sa ating mga members ng ating simbahan. Yung iba naman, talagang hindi nagsisimba. Hindi talaga nagsisimba. Makapagpasok, makapasok lang sa simbahan sa pahonahon na nila. Iyon nila lamas. Iyon na yun. My God. So, there are those who made commitments to serve God and serve the church seriously in addition to attend worship regularly. They also take part in the church's social activities. And then there are those who commit to more serious process as a Christian participating in the activity that lead them to more activity in spiritual maturity, such as regular Bible study, seek out and look forward to more spiritual growth processing within our church program. Okay? So it takes only a quality of people committed to grow in relationship with Christ and through Christ. The word is love one another. By loving one another, we express our love of God. So love is not just love per se in the emotion, but love should manifest in the action of serving other people. By serving other people, we are making ourselves as true disciples of Jesus. I guess this is what is trying to tell us. Through Christ's great commandment and great commission, we can more clearly understand the path God wants us to follow in our lives. Within the church, paano ba to? Within the church, we develop strong relationship with others through our Christian family. We can more effectively put into practice the love and the mo devotion God desires. This is not an easy task. It is a lifelong journey. So, brothers, sisters, we end our 19th uh, episode. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And see you again tomorrow.